Now let's talk about the stability of a governor. Now governor is said to be stable when for each speed within the working range, okay, there is only one radius of the governor walls. And at this radius, the governor is in equilibrium. So in a nutshell, I can say that for each speed, you just have one radius. So N1 has a radius R1 only. N2 will have a radius R2 and so on. So for each speed, you have just one value of radius of rotation. Okay. So if this is existing, then your governor is said to be stable. And if your governor is stable, then as the speed increases, as the speed of rotation increases, so will be the radius of rotation. Okay, so let us say if this is initially going at 100 rpm and the radius of rotation is 160. Okay, if it goes to 150, this will increase to let us say 180. Okay, so there will be a proportionate increase in the radius of rotation as well for a stable governor. So this is just a term you need to remember and understand for the stability of a governor. After this, we look at the isochronism in a governor.